Good afternoon. This is Prophet West. This is Prophet West coming to you this this afternoon. And I have a brief word of encouragement for someone. Just brief, just brief. I, I'm not going to be here before be here long. But th there's just something that dropped into my spirit that that I want to release it and and to speak it to someone on this day. And I want to let you know that you are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. You are not. You are not a mistake. Now, you might have made mistakes. You might have done things. You might have miscalculated some things in life. But that doesn't make you a mistake. You are not a mistake. For the Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, but also to them that are the call according to his purpose. And for that reason, I come to tell you that you are not a mistake. See, you must look at it. You must look at it in this way. In order to create uh, friction or in order to create light, it takes a negative and a positive to generate power. See, the thing that you're going through and the problems that you're facing in this life, what it's doing is generating your power. And so stop looking at your condition and stop looking at your faults. Many of you that are listening and will listen to me, you are stuck in a mistake. You are. You are stuck in a mistake. You've done something bad. You've done something bad and you, you miscalculated. You made a bad choice and you made a bad decision. And see, and you think and your mind is telling you that you are a failure. Some of you, your kids, you don't even have your kids. Your kids are even not around you now. And for that reason, you think that it's all your fault. And you've been kicking yourself. You've been beating yourself. You've been tormenting yourself with shame. You have been tormenting yourself with, 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 with hurt and, and regret. Never live in regret because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Everything will work out in, in the end. And see, the thing that you must understand, even in the places that you are right now, in the place where you are, God is taking you the long road. And God is taking you away, away in a place that he's going to reveal his power to you. And he's, he's going to show you, he's going to show you his glory, even in a greater way. And see, sometimes pain comes to get us to a place and get us to a point where we realize and recognize that we need God. That we cannot do this by ourselves. And this is where you are. You are low. You are low. You are low. And you feel bad because of the choices and the mistakes that you've made. And see, but in this place, in this low place, don't look and don't allow your mind and the enemy to torment you. To torment you saying by saying you're not good. You're no good. And you're useless. You are useful. The fact that you're alive and you're breathing, that means that you have hope. You have hope. And I come to tell you that don't let your mind and the, the, don't let the enemy steal your hope. And don't let the, the enemy steal your dreams. Because your dreams, see, your hope is expectation. Expectation means that you're expecting something good in the end. And so hang in there and hang around. And all you have to do, God is setting you up. He is setting you up to be blessed. He is. And what he wants you to do, he wants you to release it. He wants you to release it. He wants you to release that guilt. He wants you to release that shame. And also, God wants you to forgive yourself. You haven't forgave yourself. You haven't. You haven't forgave yourself. And so God wants you to forgive yourself. Learn how to forgive yourself. And in forgiving yourself, then God will show you and God will reveal to you your, his plan concerning your life. Remember, you are not a mistake. Because you've made many mistakes and because even a mistake right now, you're suffering for it. Just hang in and then hang around. Hang around and don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because God is not has not given up on you. Which means don't give up on yourself. Yes, you made many mistakes. And yes, you, you've had many faults. But all of us have faults. And see, that's why we need Jesus. See, because if we were perfect, then we wouldn't need Jesus. But the fact that we're imperfect. We need a perfect God. And so you have been set up. You have been set up where you are right now. You have been set up that God can come into your life and that God can fix your heart. And see, the first thing, see the thing that what, what needs to be happened and what needs to take place. First of all, God needs to fix you. He needs to fix you. And once he fix you, he'll fix your situation. He will. And so in him fix you, then he will, he will make sure that the thing that you think you lost, the things that you think that the locust and the cankerworms has eaten up or the thief has stolen, God is going to give it back to you.
And so take your time. Take your time and, and rest your mind. Learn how to rest your mind. Let, learn how to rest your mind and give it to God. For God says to come unto me, all you that are weary and labor and of heavy laden, and take my yoke upon me and learn of me. And see, God wants you to learn of me. And see, you've learned from other stuff. You've learned from books. You've even tried to learn from your mind. But God wants you to learn him. And the way to learn him is to turn to him. And in turning to him, it starts with open up your heart and saying, God, I release it. And saying, God, help me. Help me in my situation. And help me in my condition. And help me in my predicament. And once you release, release it and let it go, then God will take it. And God will work out. And see what God will do. The things that you've messed up and the things that it took so long for you to for you to even for you for you to try to fix, God will fix it suddenly. He's waiting on you. And once he waits it what and once you move and once you become obedient, then things are gonna begin to click. And things will come in order, and then he will restore back the very things that you've lost because of your bad choices. We all have made bad choices. We all have made bad decisions. The Bible says that the Bible says that say to no man say say that you're tempted of God, but we are tempted by our own lust and enticement. Yes, you will you were tempted, and it drew you away. The devil got you, your lust got you, your feelings got you, and your mind got you. See the thing about it, what the devil will do when you're looking and trying to do right, what the devil will do, he will send a counterfeit. And he will deceive you and he will draw you away from the place He will draw you away from the purpose of where you should be And then once you get out there, then you realize and understand that you've messed up But it's not too late It is not too late It is not too late And God wants you to repent and to return To turn back to the penthouse To return You at your low place, return It doesn't feel good God wants you to return Come on back Come on back because God is waiting for you because some of you, you're not returning because you feel shame and you feel like, well, well, how people will uh, perceive me and you're worried about how people will look at me. Forget them because those people don't can't put you in hell and they can't get you to heaven. The only one that can get you into heaven is Jesus. And so you need to hang your hopes on him that who can bring you out and who can bring you through. Remember, 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 you are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. Matter of fact, you are blessed and you're chosen. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, you're beautiful. Matter of fact, you're, you're a chosen person. Matter of fact, you're, you're fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. That means that God, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. The fact that God created you, you are beautiful because you're made and you're created in his image. And in that saying, in that saying that you're made in his image, God wants you to come back to the image of how he created you. He wants you to come back and reveal and show his imprint. And his imprint is his mind and his imprint is his heart. He will take it away. He will take it away. Stop trying to take it. Stop trying to fix it. Let go and let God. And I promise you, and I promise you, he will fix it and he will make it good. And your blessing and what you've been looking for and what you've been hoping for will happen and take place suddenly. God bless you. Y'all have a good day. Amen. Amen. <laughs>